the diabetes, the arthritis, the heart disease, the dementia, the obesity, the cancers are affecting about 70% of deaths. We have an epidemic cascade of debilitating disease that's overcoming the country. 18% of children are morbidly obese right now. We're on par to have one in three people be diabetic in the next 25 years. That's crazy statistics. We have this very dangerous situation. Large amounts of these substances have unquestionably been associated with clogged arteries, high blood pressure, diabetes, autoimmune diseases. Absolutely, the science is solid. We're talking life and death. Health organizations have become co-opted. They are taking money from the very industries who are causing the problems. There's a very strong pharmaceutical industry and lobby that has a, a huge stake in preserving the status quo. We've got a $35 billion statin drug industry. Do they ever want to see that go away? The government's in bed with anyone that gives them the most money. These are government programs. Consumers have no idea. We consider it normal that a town the size of the town I grew up in gets wiped out every year. If that many people were being killed by some terrorist group in the United States every year, we would find them. From a community standpoint, from all other aspects, we're in a state of emergency. They care more about cooperation than these people. They spend at least $138 million lobbying Congress. These companies really have a vested interest in making sure that the public doesn't have information about their effects. Any little thing that comes up, man, they beat it to death. They're trying to silence people into not speaking out and not showing the truth. If that's where you want to go with this, I'm sorry, I'm not the person that you should be talking to. The European, European We're dead. of style.